In this video, we're going to install a 1.18 meter basin frame. So why would you want to use a basin frame for a wall hung basin? Well, quite honestly, it just makes life easier. You can build up storage in, people bolt them to the wall, but actually using this frame makes the job a lot better and you get a better job. It's a lot more secure. It's fully adjustable so that you can change the position for the pipes and the waste and so on. The important thing is to get your basin first so you know what basin you're going to be fitting to this because obviously different sizes, different shapes, different pedestals, they all fit slightly differently. But if you've got your basin on hand, there is nothing complicated about this job. In this case, because we're fitting this next to a WC frame, we're going to use the same bit of Unistrut to hold it to the wall and that gives it a really secure fixing. But if you didn't want to put this in a, a wall alongside the WC, if you wanted to put it in a cloakroom or something like that, you didn't have the room, you could move this back as close as 100 millimetres to the wall. So there's plenty of versatility. There's adjustment everywhere on this frame. We can rise and fall on the waste outlet we can adjust the inlet position so that we can accommodate a chrome trap if we want or a pedestal. So there's lots of adjustment. The important thing is get your basin, get your pedestal so that you know where you're going with it and then you'll be fine. Another thing I really like about this, which is different to a lot of the continental ones, is we've got a good inch and a quarter waste outlet there, which is brilliant. We've got an inch and a quarter into here with the bung, which is great. So everything is made to work with the British plumbing system and you really will find it a lot different if you've used those continental ones, you'll find this is a lot easier. So again, we've got identical technology to the WC frame. I'm going to use the long bolts. We've got long bolts and short bolts here, so we've got a choice, but in this case, I use the long bolt. You can, of course, fit this basin frame to a masonry wall or a stud wall or anything else. You can actually put a piece of timber behind if you want to, but because we're using the Unistrut, they supply a special little bolt which goes in, locks into the strut with this plate. So the good thing is that we've got a nice level fixing. We don't need to put in any more stud work or anything at all. That's ready to put a shelf on the top if a shelf is what you want to do. So now I've got that frame securely fixed. There's still actually adjustment here. I know from my finished floor level, which is my elements board plus my tiles plus a bit of adhesive, that I want to achieve 850 to the top of the basin. So I can measure that up and that gives me 795 for the bolts here, the center of the bolts. So all that can be adjusted very easily on the socket set up or down. I know that with this particular basin, I need to adjust out. So that's a 280 adjustment, so I can move that in or out so that I get the correct adjustment centered, of course, on, on there. And I can also, by doing a trial fit, and I would recommend a trial fit at this stage, of just put the basin up, check where your trap is gonna go, where your waste is gonna go, because you've got a rise and fall here, so we can go up or down with that. We can also go in or out, or up or down, 
with our pipe connections there. So we're ready to go. Once we start that tiling, the basin's gonna go on there perfectly and everything's gonna line up. So once we've established exactly where all those are gonna go, we can start our boarding and our tiling and we know we haven't gotta make any adjustments afterwards. Okay, so now I've got the frame in position. You can see that everything's adjusted, everything's in place to suit that particular basin. And I've got the bolts in here. The great thing about these bolts is that unlike somewhere you've got to cut them to length and worry about with these you can just wind them back and forth so that you've got them at exactly the right length so that's a really good feature and then i just pop on a couple of sleeves here just to stop the tile adhesive clogging the threads and also protect your eyes and here we've got some debris stoppers to go in the end so that when we do the boarding and tiling nothing gets in there but also if you put a bit of ptfe tape around these you'll find that you can use them to test the whole system, to test your carcass in up before you start boarding. So we're absolutely sure that everything behind there is leak free and it's ready to go. And you know, I hear a lot of plumbers moaning about the way plumbing is going these days. They talk about plastic fittings and all the rest of it. And I must admit, I think it did go through a bit of a low spot, you know, for maybe 20 years or so. But I think now there's some real design and innovation coming into plumbing that is helping us and if I was a young plumber starting out today, I'd be really pleased to be using kit like this. So that's the first fix done, and now we're ready for boarding and tiling. <laughs> 